for L. Harris, these brightly colored ribbon skirts aren't just a piece of clothing. They represent survival, her indigenous identity, and resilience. I was ashamed of myself and I was ashamed to be in my culture because that's what I was taught growing up. She's the daughter of Morgan Harris, whose remains will be searched for in the Prairie Green landfill. The 20-year-old is about to graduate from Argyle Alternative High School. I didn't think I was going to graduate because I had court going on and so much stuff with my mom and then plus on top of that I had school. I'm going to measure it and we'll she see says being at Argyle up. helped her through this difficult period of her life. Here she learned about her indigenous culture. I wanted to be straight. And as she's about to leave, she's giving back teaching other students how to make ribbon skirts. That's all I want to do. I want to take everything that I've learned and all my experiences and help other people out and help them get out of that dark hole I was in. Okay. While the trial for her mother's killer was going on, Harris says she made it through with the support of her teachers, family and friends. A shelter her mother used is right across from her school. That's not the only place, like, everywhere it's hard. Going down Main Street, it's hard. Going past the Lone Mission, like, I do Bear Clan walks, so even just doing that, it's really hard because it's closure I'll never be able to get. I, I still think I'm going to see her around the corner. Harris says as a student in Argyle, she also took the leadership role of educating staff and students about missing and murdered indigenous women and girls. We're still here and that's why it's so important for us it's, and it's really important for me to get it out there because we're not dead, we're not runaways, we're not any of what people put out there, we're human beings just like everyone else that want to have the right to grieve properly. Right there. Oh, yeah. Her teacher, Rosetta Troya, calls her one of the most strongest, resilient, and kindest students. Seeing Elle not only persevere in her personal life, but then have the ability to do well in her academic life, there's no better feeling because it, it's often hard to do both when you have a lot going on. And so seeing that is probably the most rewar rewarding. Her graduation ceremony is on June 26th and she will be wearing a ribbon skirt, a beaded cap and a red stole with a mom's picture on it. Everything I'm going to be doing for that day is going to be for my mom and for myself as well because my mom didn't get to graduate, my father didn't get to graduate, a lot of my family members never got to graduate so I'm doing this for them, I'm going to wear that cap for them. And after she walks across the stage to get her diploma, she will be walking the streets of Winnipeg with Morgan's Warriors, a patrol group to help women like her mom. Zabina Ahmed, CBC News, Winnipeg.